here's the reference we're going to have, and you're welcome to uh, pull this up or download it, but really you don't have to. Uh, you can glance at it once in a while. It's in the lentil soup folder in your big folder. My wife made this last week, and it was so good. We ate off it for three days. So we're going to try to capture it simply and quickly. And I'll show you the steps I did, and, and we'll try to duplicate them quickly and have fun with it. The first thing we had to do was to get the local color of the soup and the uh, cilantro that was in there. So I, we start with the lightest values first. We sketch the bowl rough. This, this was a rough, quick technique sketch only. And I mean, painting exercise. And then you can see I dropped some deeper colors of my soup color into the still damp uh, soup. Bumped a couple compliments together to get this off color white gray that's in the bowl that vaguely shapes the bowl. Not as, I'm not so interested in the bowl this time around. And when that dried a little bit, I went in with deeper colors in the soup, some dabs of deeper orange, maybe 30, 40% saturation, maybe with a little more red in the mixture, and then and some darker values in the cilantro, which was all over the map in terms of value and color. Just like the trees and forests we've been painting and the reflection scenes. And then I deepened the shadows on the bowl and deepen the shadows in the soup around the rim of the bowl that I saw in the reflection. Because look, you don't have to look too hard to see that the shadows are there. As are some left white paper reflections, huh? And then like, I'm, I think I'm always telling you this, uh, put a bit of a background in to set off your subject. And then I put a shadow under the soup spoon and then I darkened that. And uh, suddenly I was painting food. Granted, the bowl's a little sloppy. I should go in and clean up all these edges and stuff, but uh, that's what we're gonna try. And so I am, if you're gonna, if you're willing, watch me for just a second. I'm gonna sketch the bowl and you can sketch with me and then we will just paint the steps real quick and we'll see if we can create a sense of real food, make us all hungry. So I'm gonna try and draw a reasonable ellipse for the bowl. And the soup is an ellipse within the ellipse. And then the uh, spoon is about midway. And you can just make it shape it any way you want to. I guess spoons are more shape like. And then the, the cilantro is all these crazy little, it's got kind of a serrated edge. So just draw some, some cilantro inside the soup. And there's also cumin seed and carrots, all kinds of good things. And I like how one of the little cilantro leaves is coming up, climbing up the soup, edge of the soup bowl inside. So I, I want to include him. He's got an interesting shape. Looks like the fin and jaws kind of a little bit. So more cilantro and the cilantro shapes are overlapping each other and they're clumped. And you'll be mostly painting these shapes with just with color. You'll just be creating these with color paint, green paint. And the soup is very wet and shiny. So there are going to be places of, uh, of highlights that we're gonna remember to omit when we're painting. Okay. 
you can kind of paint, draw a lot of these cilantro leaves in your with your brush later. And now we've got to we've got to mix the color for our soup. I'm going to try to duplicate the soup, the reality of that soup. It's kind of a peculiar orange green, isn't it? So let's see if we can duplicate that with a big brush. Okay, so I'm going to put some water in here. This is some nice, some of that nice transparent. Were we using this last? Well, yeah, we were doing using this to paint pumpkins. This is some of that transparent orange we were talking about. So that's a nice start. And then there's a lot of yellow in the soup, so I'm going to add the yellow to it. And I'm going to get a nice 20% light glaze of this color. And then there's a little green in it. So I'm going to add some viridian to it. It's already starting off just a little bit neutralized. But it still has a real rich orange color to it. Now I, I want to get the brush really soaking with this color so I can slop around with it as a first pass. So I'm really soaking up the color here, getting some yellow over here. Okay, so now I'm going to just going to go in and paint the color of the soup as bright as I can get it. And I'm going to leave some white where there's reflection from the kitchen lights, but not too much white, little speckles, kind of like fish food. I, I can always do this with gouache later, but. And I'm going to try to make a little bit of an effort to paint around the uh, cilantro with the, with the, with the brush. Take as many shortcuts as I can though. And this is just the local color, the flat color base of the soup stock. It was so good. I wish you could have been eating it with me. I'm never gonna go get Progresso soup or Campbell's soup again now that I've tasted homemade. So it's a, kind of a nice, bright, mustardy color, odd little color. And some of it is more watery than others. Some, some passages are thicker than others. But mostly it's just a transparent, pretty glaze. with some white sparkle left in there, a little bit, not too much. And then while this is drying, I can go in and get some thicker carrot orange and I can just drop it in while it's wet. And these are little bits of things floating in the soup or just under the soup. Is that in focus? I can't tell if it is. See how, see how it starts to feather out? And then I can do some, get some yellow green too. And put some of this over here. Wet into wet. I'll just drop some of that green in there too. That could look like bits of cilantro under the under the surface of the soup. Or... And 
I can mix the the orange and the orange and the green to make a yet another value of the soup, and I can close up some of these white spots and articulate around the little cilantro leaves. But now the soup is starting to dry, so I'm getting um, I'm not getting quite the effect I want with the uh, wet and the wet. It's not wet and the wet anymore, so we'll just let that be. I'll leave that. And then I want to create a bowl shape, a white bowl of some sort. So I'm just going to create a neutral here. I'm just going to take some blue, some blue and some orange and create a, a warmish shadow color for this microwavable porcelain bowl. I want it to be soft and not too dark, not too heavy. And I'm just gonna paint around the soup. You see the highlight. I don't know if you if you don't have the reference. Uh, the, the, the rim of the bowl is, is getting plenty of light from the kitchen overhead light. And the uh, side of the bowl as it goes down is a darker value and it forms a semi-ellipse around the, the soup but there is that white and we're going to make it a soft edge here in a second. I'm going to come back and And because we're in a hurry, I'm not taking all the pains I should be taking to uh, get the ellipse just right and have the rim of the bowl consistent, not doing a whole lot, as much of that as I should be. But it's just to get you an idea of how the technique. Now I've, I've wet the brush with water and I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to soften these edges as they curl up around the, the rim. A little bit. Might have to change the shape of the bowl a little bit with my pencil. And I'm going to widen the rim of the I mean it takes a little time to get the shapes right and everything is drying pretty well which is good I'm going to paint light green the first green value of the cilantro, the first, the local color of the cilantro before it gets wet. And I'm going to use a, a, this brush as number 12, and I'm going to mix up some nice yellow green over here for that. Wet, transparent, well stirred, just like the soup. Well stirred and almost like a day glow yellow green. Although in fact, it's if you look at if I'm looking at the color of the reference in the photo, and it's not day glow. It's a little more neutral than that. So I'll pick up a little orange and drop it in, knock it back a little bit so it's not quite so bright, overwhelming, overpowering. And now I notice that there's, there's actually a little blue in the green that I didn't include. So I'm going to pick a, a little cobalt and add it. And this is just what the photo is telling me. It's not all I know is what I see. And now it's a different, it's a different lighter green. I'm going to use a lot of water with it so it's not too dark. Let me see if I can, if I've got the right green. I'm, I'm just going to go in and paint cilantro, first pass. Yeah, that's plenty. And leave a little white for the sparkle of the soup, but not too much because a little bit of that goes a long way. And I'm putting in cilantro. First pass. Yeah, 
I think that's a fair start. And we'll just let it be for a little bit. Spoon, a, lum, a spoon color with the colors I've got. So I'm gonna use some of this uh, blue purple or blue and orange, any, whatever, whatever seems to work. And it's gonna be a little cooler tone than the uh, white bowl. Let's see if we, uh, that's a little too cold. Let's see. And a little too intense. So I'm gonna paint the local color of the spoon. It's got a white highlight trying to create aluminum or metal anyway. Light tone first. We'll let that dry out. I'll lighten some parts of it, okay. Okay. Where I used a little more orange in this uh, porcelain color, I'm using a little more blue in it to try to create that feeling of metal, aluminum. So a bluish orange, a bluish brown. Now I've got to mix up a nice deeper green to go with uh, my soaking wet cilantro that's submerged under the soup, right? And it's kind of an olive drab. I'm trying to mix it here. Let's see if I can get something nice that looks like The reference helps. I won't, I won't lie. All right, so let me see if I can get, that's the right color. Well, that I can do a few of those, that color. That's still pretty light. But you see what I'm doing. Parts of it are in shadow. This is the same stuff over and over again. Shadow, shadow form and light form. And in doing the shadows, see if I can paint some shadows underneath cilantro's leaves that are on top of other cilantro leaves. And then that way I can give you a sense of that sawtooth jagged shape of a cilantro leaf. Really neat shape that they've got. And there are big chunks of cilantro that are submerged and they're dark. So let's make sure we include those. Is it an abstract pattern? Heck yeah. We're trying to create little leaf shapes in here. Some, they're like goldfish. Some of them are submerged. Some of them are surfacing. They're certainly part of the suit. Cilantro, man, does it add fresh cilantro from the garden. Oh my gosh, it adds so much to the flavor. This is all, see, you guys already know all this about this sort of thing, but it's all kind of new to me. It's pretty fascinating. Cooking is every bit of as much an art form as painting. I've come to that conclusion. So you get what I'm doing there with this. And if you have a cilantro overlapping another cilantro, that's great. Just, just draw the negative shape of the, uh, you're painting around the, the, the lighter colored cilantro. Some of these are actually little cast shadows. Darndest thing. So And paint right over some of those carrots that I put in there. All right, so you get the idea. A little bit goes a long way. And now, with the very small, scant time I've got left, I'm going to try to put some shadow in the bowl. So that means I need a shadow color of the soup. Well, it just means more pigment, more of the same colors I used to make the soup, but just a little bit more contrast in there. So it really does feel like the shadow of the soup. The, the rim of the bowl is actually uh, casting a shadow on this liquid. So let's see if this is the right color and the right, I think I should add a little green to it. Okay. 
Okay, so I, you fool around with the, mixing the right values and colors longer than you spend painting. And I don't want to forget my little white highlight. So let's see if, what I think of this. It's okay, I think. So I'm going to protect that highlight. Try to keep my, use my brush to create a curve. Now it's time to feather out some of those, soften some of those edges. Yeah, I'm not sure there was enough contrast in my shadow. So I'm gonna drop a little more color in there. Hmm. Nor is there enough warmth in that shadow. So let me, let me warm it up with some cadmium scarlet. And I'm going to darken under the spoon, slightly different, it's a deeper cast shadow. So I'm just mixing. A slightly cooler shadow under this cast. Maybe some of that aluminum, that metallic coolness is reflecting, bouncing off the uh, soup surface. That's got to be it. There, that's a kind of a, see if I can do this. I want to protect the highlight under the, the, the side of the aluminum, the, the white paper I left on the spoon, but I'm just going to see if I And I'll soften that edge with just white, just wet, wet brush. Okay. Now I'm going to go in and put the darker value of the gray on the spoon, on the lip of whatever this is, the handle of the spoon. Let's see if it's going to work. And I'm gonna do some dry brushing in here if I can. Hmm. Didn't wanna go over my highlight. Uh, it's late at night, so I'll I'll just cut myself some slack on that. Maybe I can scrub out some of that highlight there um, later. But it sort of reads as metal. My lines need to be straighter. And now a darker shadow on the bowl, and then we're we'll call it. On the inside, this, 
and that will be a soft edge. So uh, I'm just going to paint water along the rim here, clean water, and yeah, just get a nice dark. Just deepening that shadow. And then adding deeper greens into the cilantro. One more pass at the cilantro, which we won't take time. I'll deepen the little jaws shark here real quick, just because he seems to be the one character in the story. Let's see if I can just deepen him with blue green. And and you can change up the colors as you go on, but just, just make sure you bring in some contrast, leave a little white, and you get the idea. A little sparkle, clean up the edges. Put a placemat underneath it, and I think you get the idea of that. I bet you can make a prettier bowl of soup than mine. Although, you know, I must say that looks pretty, pretty tasty. 